Hi everyone, it's Quicker Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks. And today I'm going to be playing on my Place for Free account in the Object 140, but the tank and the account really isn't the focus of the video. Today's video is going to be letting you know one of my biggest tips in World of Tanks for improving as a player. And that is building upon what my first tip for all new players would be. You see this thing? You see this thing over there it is the most important part of World of Tanks. At the start of the game, uh, when you're playing, I understand that it can be really tricky when you're driving around, not knowing the maps, not knowing about the positions. You're having to focus more on the shooting, you have to focus more on the driving. As you become more experienced as a player, that becomes like autopilot. Although sometimes you can go a little too autopilot, as everyone who's watched my Twitch stream and seen some of the terrible tunnel visions will we'll see. But as you start to become more comfortable, should we say, with the micro inside the game, all the micro movements and the micro plays that you have to make, then it's all about the macro plays. And reading the minimap is the most important thing you can do. So many people, even to this day, ask me, oh, how do you make your minimap bigger? Plus key, do it, make it bigger. Uh, I think this is too big, personally. That's just about right, depending on what kind of a re resolution that you're playing on. And making the minimap bigger will be easy for people with older eyes like me I guess and not having to kind of like squint so much at the positions but also when you make it this small it, it, it is quite hard to actually see what vehicles kind of under lay each other so for example look at the two objects over there on the larger map whereas if we make the minimap smaller then it does feel as if they're kind of like a little less even though I understand it's probably just the scaling I think it's easier to differentiate with the the larger objects but maybe I just need to get glasses look I digress that's not the focus what I'm trying to say is that once you've kind of got used to using the minimap as much as possible, you should be probably spending about half your time in a battle at any one time looking at the minimap and then using your peripheral vision to look at what target you need to gauge next or engage next, I should say. But also what you can do with the minimap is when you see tanks appear and you can use the, the indicator to be able to point your gun at them, then what I'll be doing on the minimap is I'll actually turn until the indicator's roughly at them, enter the sniper mode, and then start sniping at them, rather than actually be looking at the center of my screen, because then you can't react to the situation as it develops. Okay, so look, that's all well and done. But then the next step in World of Tanks is using that minimap to not only react to your opponents, but also to be able to make the big, bold plays that will achieve so many things for you. Firstly, your win ratio. Sometimes you have to make a big, bold play to or, or just attack a weak flank to be able to increase your and your team's chances of winning the game. However, if win ratio isn't your thing, and you're just thinking purely about either getting marks of excellence through damage and spotting, you can do that with the minimap as well. One of the worst things that I see players make, and one of the reasons why I think a lot of players stay, should we say, average, or I think it's far, fairer to say they don't achieve what their potential could be, is they go to a flank, and they sit there, and they'll have a mediocre round from it. And for them, it might be quite a good game. They think it's a good game. Oh, I managed to survive until the end of the battle. However, when you get a little bit more hungry in World of Tanks, I'm not saying that you have to, but I know a lot of you out there who watch my YouTube videos and especially watch my Twitch streams are always thinking, like, how can I take my game to the next level? It's about seeing where you can be more impact impactful in the battle. And when you are playing a relatively fast tank like this Object 140, bombing it along at about 50 three kilometers an hour right now you can relocate entire map sections so i was sitting with the 121b and the chieftain prototype realizing that we don't really have our opponents enveloped in a crossfire and we were down at the time i believe a couple or two or three thousand hit points so actually the enemies had the upper hand in that position where i made the decision that i wanted to try and envelop my opponents in a crossfire as well as also try and dig out the most important tank on the enemy team, which is this IS-7. Now, if I didn't make this push play, and I didn't drive pretty much a kilometre to be able to get here, this IS-7, to all intents and purposes, would, with the FV-215B's crossfire, deal with the 705A, and if he won that fight, he'd be able to engage the Super Conqueror down below. But by crossing and damaging the fuel tanks, allowing the 705A or the Super Conqueror to be able to set them on fire and to dig them out, now, we've actually turned the fight completely on our opponents. Now, the FV isn't farming everyone above him. The IS-7 is vanquished, 
and we have now got our team not only forward, we were about to envelop the crossfire ourselves. We are, what, five minutes into this game of World of Tanks. We're up to 1,600 damage. It's not bad, but let's see what we turn 1,600 into in the next few minutes by changing our position, driving across the entire section of the map, and then being able to really light it up and put a squeeze on our opponents. So remember, we did 1,600 in the first five minutes. Then after that, let's see what we can get by the end of the game. And this is just the dream scenario for a vehicle like this with its seven degrees of gun depression, its hold down potential. Now all of these tanks that were previously not spotted are getting spotted. We're spotting a leopard, we're getting some damage on the Progetto. Now that we're in this position and we've lit up our opponents, they're not focusing on all of the tanks towards the east, which is allowing them to be able to close. And a game which was looking kind of like a 50-50 if I'd sat over with the two chieftains and the and the 1-2-1-B is now rapidly snowballing into our team's favor. Now look, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to suggest, oh, me, 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 me in this situation. Uh, to all intents and purposes, if I sat over on the eastern flank, maybe my team would have made it through this area and would have done this with or without me. But th there's at least a possibility that our, our use of the minimap, which is what you need to develop, and to see those sweeping plays and to see those opportunities and to after you know about all of the different positions and how they work, to know when is the time to exploit them that will allow you to be able to just snowball. And if I was still chasing the damage where the Chieftain was, I wouldn't have just got 2,000 spotting against the FE215B, and I wouldn't be now power farming the back of this E75. And so, oh, lovely fire there, we're not even going to shoot him anymore, we might as well maximize our damage uh, on the 60TP as well. And so while in the first five minutes of this battle, we did 1,600 damage, now I'm giving a little bit of a rude awakening to the 60 TP as we club and club and club our way through our opponents, finishing off the 60 TP. And so in the first five minutes, we did 1,600. And in the subsequent two minutes and 20 seconds that we were in that position, we added 9,000 combined. So in two minutes we did four times as much as we did in the first five minutes of the battle. And all of that because we read what is the most important thing to read in World of Tanks, which is the minimap. Saw a sweeping play that we knew about a very powerful position. This was just in my my tank review of the Obsidian the other day. This is a dominant position, which is why people make aggressive plays and risk their tank at the start to be able to take it. And we use that to get 10,500 combined on our free to play account in a seven minute game. So if you're looking to get more marks of excellence, more ace tankers, more hero medals, more high calibers with 7,000 damage and nearly 11,000 combined, while also still making more profits, let me tell you about the number one legal cheat inside World of Tanks. And that is the minimap. World of Tanks is not kind of like a, a Twitch based shooter where you're bombing it around, firing left, right and center. Although I guess sometimes it is, but the majority of times it isn't. This is an RTS style team based combat salt RNG simulator. The tanks are the pieces and the map is the board. This is just a game of chess on a, a, a non turn based scale. So learn the pieces learn the board, spend more time looking at it, exploit the great positions and the weaknesses of your opponents, and that is the secret of World of Tanks. Well, at least in a in a 10 minute format. Um, I think if it only took 10 minutes to get good at World of Tanks, then I think there would be a lot less salty players around on the battlefield. But that was my best effort to give you the highest impact I can possibly give to you fairly experienced players who want to take your game to the next level. It's as simple as that. It's going to be a lot of work, but really anyone can do it. Anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, that was it for today. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And if you're watching this video as it's released on Monday, I'm going to be going live all day on twitch.tv forward slash quickiebaby with brand new drops tokens so you can get some fat loot, as well as maybe check out a few epic games along the way. So really looking forward to seeing you all live right now on twitch.tv forward slash quickiebaby. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.